The Syracuse man accused of storming the U.S. Capitol on January 6th as a member of the Proud Boys will stay in jail, a federal judge ruled in the last hour. And Jeff, that's the result of two hearings today, one locally, one in Washington, D.C. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan explains how it's all tied together. Still in jail on federal charges in Virginia, Matthew Green appeared in Onondaga County Court by phone, speaking a total of three words to answer the judge. Come to court when requested, stay in contact with his attorney and stay out of all further trouble. You understand that, sir? Yes, Your Honor. The county judge ruling accusations, guns illegal in New York, found during the FBI raid of Green's Eastwood home in mid-January, do not warrant him waiting in jail locally. But it didn't matter, because in a later hearing, the federal judge decided to keep Green detained near Washington, D.C. Federal prosecutors have photo evidence to argue Green played a substantial role in the breach of the Capitol and was among the first to go past barricades with earpieces and radios to communicate with other Proud Boys. There's no evidence that he entered the Capitol. Certainly no evidence that he assaulted a police officer. He's charged with acting in concert with Dominic Pozzola to break a window at the Capitol. Uh, all the world has seen that video. Dominic Pozzola is holding that, that riot shield by himself. And uh, by that point, uh, the government has conceded that Mr. Green retreated from the area, that he made a conscious decision to leave. It's what Green did after January 6th, equally concerning to the federal judge. Prosecutors say he used encrypted messaging apps to proudly admit what happened, encouraging people to not give up the fight and take back the country. Along with the three guns, 2,000 rounds of ammunition were found, purchased after January 6th. The judge wasn't convinced Green would give up his fight if let go until his trial. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. And the next court date for Green and his co-defendant is next month.